guys, welcome back to our Complenio Wednesdays. I haven't said that in a while, but we are here. Today is also gonna be another wedding series video. If you're here for money videos, they will be here next week with a budget video. But for right now, I'm gonna be talking about what you see in the title, my wedding colors, my wedding party outfits, and yeah, let's get started. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, first off, I'm gonna start with my bridesmaids. So my bridesmaids are ordering their dresses from Azazi.com and I have chosen Desert Rose for their color. I also ordered the bow ties from Azazi.com to match the guys. And my girls are gonna be able to pick whatever kind of dress they want. So I want them to get the color I want, but they can pick whatever style dress they want. So yeah, I'm excited about that. I'm gonna insert some pictures of what I want that to look like. Nicholas just brought me the bow ties and my wedding colors. So, the bow ties came like so. Let me show y'all the color that I wanted them to come in. This is the color of Desert Rose. I know y'all see, uh, let me get it focused. Desert Rose, right? The color is this. Y'all, y'all, same website, anyways. So I'm just hoping that this is like a, I don't know, like not right. So I'm hoping the fabric looks like this, but this is a satin material, like matte satin. And I think it'll be fine against the girls' dresses. Like I'm not, I was worried about it yesterday, but I'm not too worried about it anymore. Cause it's gonna look really good with their, with the guys' navy suits. So the guys are wearing navy. My girls are wearing this desert rose color. And then my maid of honor is wearing this dusty rose color. Sorry, the lighting is like super bright. So I'm gonna have my girls contrast like so. So my maid of honor is just gonna be a little lighter and bridesmaids in this color. And then I also have my little wedding princesses. So and they're gonna be in Cabernet. And I picked this Cabernet because I wanted burgundy originally, but it didn't really look good against like these lighter colors. So I chose burgundy for my little girls and yeah, I have three wedding princesses. I have Tiana, Aviana, Journey, and I'll insert a picture of their dresses as I said their names. I picked out their dresses for them just so that their parents aren't struggling whenever it's actually time, you know, to pick out the dresses. I just picked that out for them. And then I have Hostess and a Messenger, and they're all gonna wear the same color, which is Vintage Rose, and I don't really have a color swatch of that in hand, but I can just insert a picture of that. And they are also gonna pick their own dresses as well because my bridesmaids, my maid of honor, my hostess, and my messenger all have money to buy their own dresses. So I was like, okay, well, get what you like. You know what I'm saying? So get what you like, but this color. Cause honey, I want the color that I want. And then for shoes for my bridesmaids, my hostess, and my messenger, I'm not picky about. I'm not even picky about them for my wedding princesses. They don't have to match because all the dresses are long. I just don't want you to walk down the aisle and like, I don't know, something purple. Like, I really could care less what it is. I just don't want, if your dress shows your feet, I don't want your shoes to be purple that don't match the wedding. You know, that's all I'm stressing because I really don't want that. But yes, so I want something just cohesive, probably like a tan or nude shoes. And my girls know that, you know, I'm a very simple person, but I like for things to, you know, be coordinated and together so they can figure that out accordingly. And I have my ring on. And then as you hear me say, the guys are going to be in navy and let me just tell you how hard it is to pick a navy. Thought it was gonna be easy, but the problem is I have a Nicholas and he likes for his suits to be like slim fitted and correct and so do I. I like the way he looks in those suits. So I would like for him to wear what he's comfortable in because he looks good in that. But the problem came in where we couldn't really find a rental suit that would fit the best way that we wanted it to. I mean, we could have settled for a rental suit and got a navy when they have plenty of those, but <laughs> we didn't like those. So we were looking at the Calvin Klein suit from Men's Warehouse, I'll insert a picture right here. But the collar has like this weird stitching on it or whatever you call this part of a tux or this part of a suit, whatever these little flaps are right here, has stitching in it and I could not get over it at the store yesterday. So we probably won't be going with that one. The problem, <laughs> we will probably be going with a Gara orange blue suit and I'll put a picture of that one as well. And they will be wearing that with these little baby bow ties right here. And yeah. I'll take one out of the packaging so you can see what they actually look like. Nick is also wearing the same suit and the same bow tie as the other guys. He'll just have a white um, flower on his tux to match my dress. Okay. <laughs> you 
can actually see, but I'll take it out of the packaging just so it's like not really that much of a glare on it. And yeah, so I bought all the groomsmen their bow ties and that's the color of them. I hope it's just not, you know, I'm just gonna pray for the best at this point. So I'm really not reordering them. I wanted to, but they don't come in another material. And I feel like ordering them from the website is, a close, is as close as I'm gonna get to the girls' dresses. So, yeah. So also with the guys' suits, I would like for them to wear brown shoes, but there is a dilemma with the brown shoes because these brown shoes are ugly out here. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna just insert some pictures of what I don't like and what I don't want, and then I can show you what I do want. So I do want something like this shoe right here. These just look like comfortable, and they're not too dressy, and they're not too like, you know, not dressy, I guess you would say. But I either want these or like some loafers, but Nick has already told me no several times for the loafers, so I'm gonna have to go with these. So, but I do like these, but the shoes we find now don't look like these, and these are Asher Green brand from either shoe department, shoe carnival, shoe, them places. So the guys will not be renting their suits, they'll probably be buying them just because we want them to fit a certain way. So at the end of the wedding, they'll have a suit that fits them because once you buy it, the men's warehouse can tailor it for you and have it fit however you want it to fit and it'll be in the color that I picked out. So it'll be great. And there are, if I didn't say already, they're extra slim fit. So we're gonna have some interesting times getting these people to wear these extra slim fit suits, but they're gonna look so good in them. Hopefully we like turn people onto extra slim fit suits by the end of the wedding, cause why not? And then under the suits are just gonna be wearing white collar shirts of whatever kind. I don't know, me and Nicholas have talked about buying them for them maybe. And then for the ring bearer, we just talked about this like two seconds ago. We're probably gonna have him rent his suit because he's 10. He's of that age, eight, nine, 10. We're yeah, not sure. Okay. And he's gonna be growing, so he's probably gonna rent his suit and it's gonna be navy still, I'm assuming? Yeah. It can be really whatever color because he's not gonna be standing up there during the wedding ceremony, so it can be black or navy. We haven't decided, but we know he's gonna rent it and I kinda want him in navy so like when he takes pictures with the guys, it's matching. At some point he's gonna be photographed at the wedding party. Right, and then for my flower girl, insert a picture of her dress right here and I love this dress and I really hope that she orders it and before it like decides it doesn't want to be sold anymore. I found this dress and I like fell in love with the dress and I kind of picked all of my um, wedding princess colors based off this dress, but then I changed her color. So she's gonna be in a white dress with lace on it to match my dress. It's very similar to my dress actually. Like it, it was crazy how similar it is, but it's super cute and she's like, she's gonna be two I think. So she's so little, so cute. It's gonna be adorable. We'll see, and then I got her little flower petals to match. Oh, I have the flower petals. They're really, I might have to pull, oh well. They look like they're falling apart pretty easily. So like this color right here is a burgundy, but the burgundy on the website was kind of like not what I wanted. So this is like as close as we're gonna get. These look like two different colors, but honey, it's a struggle, okay? <laughs> so these are basically the colors of my Wedding, got desert rose, the light rose, and then you got a little pink and then got a burgundy. So these will be fine with me. And I, I'm pretty sure these are from um, Ling's Moment on Amazon. She has some really good things and the boutonnieres that come from there. And so are the corsages for the mother of the bride, mother of the groom, grandmother of the bride. You know, whoever needs corsages, that's where they're coming from. <laughs> the little details of the wedding are getting, you know, planned as we speak right now because I, how many months out am I? So I'm seven months out for the wedding, so the little details are getting planned right now. Also, speaking of little details, my girl's hair. So the wedding princesses and the bridesmaids and the flower girl, they're just gonna figure out their own hair because I'm not hiring a hairdresser for the weekend. They're just gonna figure it out and wear it how they want. The guys, I would just like them to be clean cut. However they, you know, I feel like they'll be fine. I feel like people get haircuts before they come. Nicholas is gonna get a haircut before he comes. I don't know how his hair's gonna be, short, long, I don't know. We'll see. My hair will be in braids, so that's why I'm, that's partially why I'm not getting um, a hairdresser or anything, because I'm just gonna throw my braids up in some updo and throw the veil in and throw a headpiece on and we'll be popping, okay? And most of my girls have hair, so they can just curl it. And then if they don't have hair, they'll go buy some and put it in. Oh, shit. <laughs> so <I'm sorry>. yeah. <laughs> my one of my cousins already told me she can get a sewing for the wedding and just curl it when she get there and that is fine with me. I am not then you got a hairstyle for yourself. Like you got your hair done for the whole wedding and you pay for it yourself and you like it, you can keep it. So they can get what they like. 
and yeah, not really picky about how the hair is for the wedding. If you enjoyed the video, thanks so much for, wait, what? If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit the button. I always forget what I'm gonna say at the end of the video. My name is Destiny, I didn't say that at the beginning, I always forget to say that, but that's all.